morning to Soro and welcome to TNN. Today we will be talking about Wellness Wednesday, cross country, girls golf, so make sure to stay tuned. Hi, I'm William reporting in the science hall with Mr. Danner. Have you ever wanted to swim with dolphins and sea lions and octopi? Well, Mr. Danner's marine ecology class takes this trip every year. Mr. Danner, how does the trip to Catalina link back to marine ecology? Well, it's basically um, our best chance to go experience all the ecosystems that we learn, that we learn about in class um, firsthand. So uh, we get to go out there and see five different ecosystems that we're going to be learning about throughout the year um, and take some data and make direct observations. Yeah, what were some fun activities that you did while on the island? Well, we, uh, we stay busy with a bunch of water activities. So we snorkel three different times, including one time at night. Um, we also go on a kayaking uh, trip uh, from the camp to some of the surrounding areas. Um, and we have a campfire to celebrate at the end. What were some snorkeling with octopi and other fish, kayaking with sea turtles, and Mr. Danner's class has it all. I'm William, reporting in the science hall for TNN. Oh, really interesting. I mean, yeah, I don't know. No, I mean, I know Mr. Danner's a pretty cool teacher. I had him for two years. I took his uh, marine ecology class last year, and I learned a lot about the ocean and about octopi, octopus, all types of fish. That class looks fun. I might take him next year. Yep. I Shout highly out. suggest it. I'm Caden. I'm Emiliano. I'm Ryan. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Place your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Sadly, the football season is over and there will be no more period outs for any more games until basketball season. The College and Career Center is doing application support for seniors every Tuesday and Thursday, so make sure to go check that out. That's all for my portion of the show, and here's Emiliano for current events. Thanks, Caden. Do you all like any jazz? If you do, jazz bands are, host are having auditions, so make sure to check that out. Deadlines for seniors to get their yearbook photos is coming up. Make sure to get that done. AP exam registration deadline is today. If you don't sign up, you will have to pay a $40 late fee per exam. Next Wednesday is Wellness Wednesday in the guidance office. And next Friday, we don't have school for Veterans Day. Baseball are selling wreaths and Christmas trees. If you want to order, make sure to fill out the sheet provided by baseball. Here's Emilio and Judd to waste a minute of your time. If animals could talk, which one would be the most rude of all? Oh, dude, dolphins. Honestly, dolphins, yes. I've seen so many videos of dolphins just like knocking surfers off boards and just not like, not being nice. I think they might be kind of like puppies where they think they're being playful yeah. and they're being mean, but no, I don't no, know. No, no, no. Actually, no, we got it all twisted. Butterflies. Think about butterflies. It. Yo, think about it with butterflies, though, like real quick. Mm -hmm. Like, all they do is just fly around. Like, that, that probably gets exhausting. They're probably. Wait, pissed. wait, wait. Think about the butterfly effect. If you mess one thing up, it messes everything up. Why would it be called the butterfly effect if butterflies weren't the most annoying thing? Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Because butterflies float and they sting like bees. Because they're not fun and they're jerks. Butterflies. I hate butterflies. You know what? Butterflies just need to, you know, go away. Thank go you. Go away. Wow, butterflies, like, sheesh. Man, those are some crazy takes. And yes, don't mess with the butterfly or else they'll fly up all up in your business. Yeah, oh, yeah. definitely. Yup. Dia de los Muertos was yesterday. Let's take a look at a, a, about a video to learn more. <laughs> Hello, I'm Ryan Liana here in the 500 Hall reporting for TNN. Dia de los Muertos is coming up this Thursday. And I'm here with Emiliano. How are you celebrating Dia de los Muertos? Well, normally every year in my house, we host a party with a, around a few people. And we uh, eat all our loved one's favorite foods. Um, they need to bring a picture of their loved one to add to their ofrenda. So that's what we normally do. So who are you honoring this Dia de los Muertos? Mostly our 
deceased loved ones are uh, people that we care about, dead dogs, dead pets, anything, we normally celebrate their legacy and how they impacted us in our lives. Well, Dia de los Muertos is coming up this Thursday. If you are celebrating, make sure to honor your loved ones. I'm here in the 500 Hall. I'm Ryan Liana, reporting for TNN. Wow, like, that's like a great way to honor them, you know? Yeah, it sounds really beautiful, and that food looks good, man. I'm jealous. Yeah. That's all for my portion of the show. Now on to Ryan with sports. Well, girls golf had CIF individuals yesterday with Morgan Decker playing in the individuals. Tesoro football had an important game against San Clemente, and it was the CIF game of the week. They definitely ended their season well. Cross country had league finals yesterday for the girls and, boy, for the girls and boys cross country have finals today. Girls tennis had CIF D1 playoffs this week. Hope they will make it far. Uh, boys basketball have a game against Los Alamitos for preseason this Saturday. Uh, here's a video about volleyball. Hi, I'm Sadie Beamer reporting for TNN. I'm here by the beach volleyball courts with Serena Beamer. Volleyball is a competitive sport in which two teams of six players try to get the ball over the other side of the net. So Serena, do you prefer indoor or beach volleyball? I prefer indoor because it requires more hand-eye coordination and it requires more skill. Perfect. So Serena, what's your position in indoor volleyball and what's your role in the game? Well, I was a setter, but then I got moved to left back. So my role is basically to, to get a perfect pass to the setter so we can ensure a perfect hit. That's great. So Serena, how, how many years of experience have you had in volleyball? I've only played one year competitively. That's really cool. Volleyball is an amazing and fun sport that you can even play with team members, friends, or family. It requires special skill and hand-eye coordination to truly master it. From the beach courts, I'm Sadie Beamer reporting for TNN. Yeah, that's really interesting. Like, girls volleyball just had their season, so hopefully she did well, you know? Like, all right. So here's a video about boys baseball. I'm Caden reporting for TNN here at the junior lot with starting varsity baseball player Ryan Rios. So I know uh, it's a tradition that every year the baseball team, they will do a Halloween baseball game and dress up. What's the best costume you've seen so far playing in a Halloween baseball game? That's a tough one. I've seen hundreds of costumes probably. If I had to pick one, it would probably be somebody, somebody dressed up as our head coach, Coach Nieto. Coach Nieto. Wow, that is really creative. So I also know that uh, you guys typically go all out. I mean, I've seen some crazy costumes over the year. Is it pretty hard to play when you're all decked out and in a costume? Oh, for sure. The first few innings, everybody tries to, like, you know, do what they do. But in the late innings, people start to take off their costumes a little bit. Kind of if they're wearing a mask, you take it off so you can see and uh, run and stuff. But, uh, yeah, people go all out for sure. All right. Yeah, I bet. Um, are you going to be dressing up as anything in particular in this game tonight? I think I'm going to be a dad with my baby. I'm going to have a baby, a little carrier right here, and uh, we're going we're gonna to get a win today. A dad playing baseball. That's what I call multitasking, taking care of his kid and playing baseball at the same time. I'm here with uh, Ryan Rios at the junior lot, and I'm Caden reporting for PNN. Yeah, I get that. Like, but like, what happens if like the ball hits the baby? You know? Oh, that would be an issue. But I know my boy Ryan Rios. He is not letting anything happen to that baby, and he's balling out. Uh, I'd probably die. Not gonna lie. Yeah. But that's all for uh, my portion of the show. Here's Caden to finish it off. That's all I have for you today, Tesoro. Thank you for tuning in to TNN, your one and only source of Titan news. Have a fantastic, fantastic Friday.